So we're going to do some really simple sweet and sour chicken, nice crispy chicken with a really easy sweet and sour method. Absolutely delicious. Welcome back to How to Cook Green. So what we have here is some chicken breast, no skin, no bone. Cut that into nice thin, long strips. We've got eggs there, I've got three eggs. And here I've got cornstarch or corn flour, same thing, and salt and pepper. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix the salt and pepper in there just so we get a bit of a seasoned flour. And then we can get moving. So we've got our salt and pepper into our corn flour or corn starch. You could use a different flour if you want, like wheat flour or potato starch. And also you could, if you want, add some five spice, you know, um, powder in there, or maybe some star anise to give it a bit more of an Asian flavor. I'm just going with the salt and pepper. So I've got about, I think there's like three or four cups of the flour. We've probably got too much of everything. Anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our chicken and we're gonna get it in. We're gonna just coat it up, just give it a little baste in like that. Set it to, to one side. Now you can put the whole lot in and then just work it in, which is what I'm gonna do. Back in a moment. Okay, so you can see we've got our chicken floured. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna dip each piece into egg and then into more seasoned flour, cornstarch there. Like I say, I've got excess of everything. So let me do that. So we go egg and then the flour again. And then that's ready to fry. Let me repeat that and get it all done back in a moment. Okay, so you're gonna need a skillet or a wok or something like that. I've got a few pieces here that we're gonna go with. In there, I've got a couple of centimeters of oil. I'm using a sunflower oil, corn oil, canola, something like that works really well. What we're gonna do is take the chicken and we drop it in and we don't crowd the pan or is it all stick together. So we're gonna to have to do this in quite a few batches because I've got quite a bit of chicken there. And it's gonna take just like four to five minutes max. Like I say, really nice thin strip, so it'll cook really quickly. And then it comes out, goes onto some kitchen towel, and then I'll repeat the process. Okay, and that's perfect. They're nice and crispy, really good. Out they come, and I'm gonna repeat the process until they're all done. Okay, so there we go. Now, we've got enough chicken there to do two videos, two recipes, so you're gonna see this one and another one. But yeah, really crispy and beautiful, let's move on. So we've got our chicken there, as you can see, and by the way, you can eat that chicken just like that. It's absolutely dish delicious. So you can see I've got two lots of onion. There's, there's a cup each of a white onion because we're gonna fry some and put some in right at the end. Bell peppers, about a cup of those. Again, cut in the same fashion as those. Some green onions there, about a cup. Tablespoon, roughly, of ginger and garlic. Uh, my ginger, I've just sliced it quite big today. You can chop it really small if you want. And then these guys here, these are three tablespoons each of a white vinegar, tomato ketchup, oyster sauce. So a wok, a skillet, a frying pan. In there I've got three tablespoons of oil. I'm using the sunflower oil. Use something different if you want. The heat is on. We're gonna get our garlic and our ginger in there. And like I say, you can see that I've cut my ginger like this. And if you want, you can cut it really small. We're gonna go in with one cup of onion, the first lot. Like I said, we're gonna add some more a bit later. We're on a high heat. We're gonna add some black pepper. I'm not gonna add any salt to this because I've got all that oyster sauce there, but you can, if you want, add a little bit. Two minutes, high heat, keep it moving. Fabulous, okay, we're gonna drop in our chicken. In that goes. 
and three more minutes on the high heat throw this around with the onions the garlic and the ginger okay let's get in the bell pepper let's get in the other onion and then here we go we're going to go now with three tablespoons of white vinegar three tablespoons of ketchup three tablespoons of oyster sauce to that I'm going to add a little splash of water and then I'm going for another three minutes moving this all the time fantastic off goes the heat get your spring onions green onions or scallions whatever you call them in the mix give it a stir you've done it well done let me get that on a plate so white rice or some noodles fabulous well done everyone that's delicious hope you enjoy that you keep safe and you keep well i'll see you very soon lots of love well, well done for making it to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all of you that follow the channel on a regular basis. You know who you are. There's loads of you. I'm cooking away like nonstop. As you can see, I've got some lovely food right in front of me here. We're just about to be, start our cookbook. We're doing our cookbook at the moment, which is going to take a long time to come out. I know a lot of you have been asking for it, but yeah, it's going to take a while, lots to do. But yeah, cooking away. Chef June is working really hard on the channel as well, doing his Filipino food in Togalo. Rahel's got her own channel now doing the Ethiopian food, which is marvellous. It is in Amharic, the national language of Ethiopia. But check it out because she really, really is fantastic. I'm doing good. I hope you're doing great. Give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment. I do actually try and get back to everyone who leaves a comment for me. Subscribe, subscribe to the channel. All that good stuff. There's social media knocking about, you know, Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff if you want to check it out. But that's it. Keep safe. Keep well. Lots of love.